Hi, I'm David, and this is my first YouTube video for my author channel. And uh, yeah, I want to talk about my first ever Worldcon. This year was Worldcon 76 out in San Jose, California. And uh, I had a great time. You know, I want to talk about kind of going to jump around my experience. Um, there was so much to take in over. It was five days long. So I discovered a lot of other writers there. Um, there was one by the name of Felicia Garcia and she was she had a reading and her prose was just really powerful and engaging and i hadn't even you know heard of her work before and i mean it's still trying to find her books after the event uh, was a little challenging i know she has a book of poems um still looking out for her novels things like that but this event was so good for her. there's so many others that you know i've never heard of before that i've got to find here at the event and uh, they had this Mexican X initiative by John Picasso, uh, the one of the artist guests of honor. And what he did is he brought uh, 50 Mexican authors, artists um, of all types over to the event. And uh, that was really great and interesting. And got to see a lot more voices than the regular crowd, which you know is always good. And let's see. I went to a bunch of panels, of course. Uh, one of the panels uh, was done by Adrian Molina, the writer from the Disney Pixar movie Coco. And uh, one of the things he said was, and I'm totally going to butcher this line, but basically what he said was, uh, no matter what culture you come from, the thing about culture is it's always going to welcome you back with open arms. And I, I thought that was really powerful, and it spoke well to a lot of people, and... Yeah, overall the panel for all the behind the scenes stuff on Coco was really interesting. And they also had Anna Ramirez there, a set designer, and um, they had a lot of insight as, as far as like their journey to work for Pixar, which I thought was really interesting. And then of course George R. R. Martin and Jerry Bueller had their Night Flyers panel, and that was great. It was cool just to see George R. R. Martin just kind of walking around the event, like I was walking through the dealers alley and whatnot you'd just be sitting there with like people who you know some of the creators and, and he was just sitting there with some of the merchants just chopping it up kicking it and like people weren't bum rushing him for pictures or anything like that he, was, he got to actually like so I thought that was really cool and uh, he actually had a panel for uh, an editor who had passed away by the name of Gardner Dojois now I wasn't really familiar with this editor's work but I uh, listened to the panel and what I thought was pretty amazing was that uh, a lot of the people in the audience actually you know had memories from decades ago of this editor and it really showed that Worldcon is kind of its own community and they travel wherever in the world they go each year a lot of these people have seen each other I mean for decades and a really long time and so it makes me definitely I want to keep going to events like this because it seems like this is like uh, a central hub almost for science fiction and fantasy and of course they have the Hugo Awards okay and I discovered another author N.K. Jemisin uh, apparently she's won the the Hugo Award for the best novel for three years in a row for her trilogy for the Broken Earth trilogy and so now I know I have to pick that up and read it um, I've been off social media for about two years so I've kind of blocked out all the noise of everything, but because of that I've also been disconnected, I think, with new sci-fi and fantasy. So as I reopen, you know, my Twitter and Facebook and all these other things and go to events like this, uh, it's great seeing authors that I've never heard of before and I can pick up their work now and kind of explore that. And uh, so I'm definitely going to pick up The Stone Sky, you know, the Hugo winner this year. I mean, it was great to even connect with other writers. Unfortunately, a drawback of not being on social media is a lot of times when I'd meet, you know, I've met some, like, people every day I was there, but a lot of times, you know, people are like, oh yeah, what's your Twitter, or what's your Instagram, or what, you know, things like that, and I don't, at the time, I didn't have one set up, so I would have to resort to being like, hey, I can trade phone numbers, and it's like, that's really personal, you know, and I did, you know, with the, quite a few people but yeah it's definitely important to be on social media if you're going to be writing and you want people to actually see your work and things like that but overall I mean the experience there was great I mean just the overall vibe and there's a lot of people dressed up in costume and 
you could tell just these were genuine fans of sci-fi and fantasy and any sort of related genre. Uh, anything close or in between, it's like a horror or thriller, mystery. Um, it was just a great crowd. And then uh, I guess there were a lot of parties also. That's kind of something it's known for. Um, unfortunately, the, uh, I'm such an old man. Like I, I'd go to bed pretty early every night. So I probably missed out on some of that. But I also wake up really early. So I had a chance to go on a the run with riders, which was really cool. We ran for like 60 minutes straight though. And that was pretty crazy. But we still you know, managed to talk to a couple people. And um, you know, overall is is great. Um, and then I had a picture signed by uh, John Picasso, the guest of honor, which I thought. I mean, he was really friendly, really cool guy. And yeah, just overall, it was a great experience. And you know, I think I'll have to look out for going next year. It's in Dublin, Ireland, though. But uh, we'll see. You know. Um, but yeah, so I mean, this is the first video on my channel. Um, I'm going to be talking about a lot more writing related topics going forward. Like my next video is going to be on just basically my writing plan for the rest of this year. Because I would like to put out, probably self-publish a novel and a short story by the end of the year. So just be going over that journey. And yeah. All right. See you later. I don't know what else happened there. So, you ditching the whole movie thing? <laughs> I could do we both, were, man. Thought we were supposed to finally review Deadpool. <laughs> I could do both. It's just, just yeah. Alright. Yeah. Fine. Record whatever you want.